Good morning, everybody. This is Chrissy from Solstice ATR Trading. I'm going to be covering this week um, the overall market, looking to see if we're going to still continue or get some rejection at this high. Let's go over some of the stuff and let's cover it, make it very simple to everybody to look at. I am actually looking right here to the, my right, the Fortune 500 company, the NASDAQ, the Russell, as well as the Dow Joe Industrial Average as a combination of all those instruments working together to see if there's an uptrend or a downtrend. As far as we are above the 37,575 area, we're going to be bullish. If we are under, we're going to be bearish. Now let me zoom in a little bit to show you what I'm looking at on the weekly chart. The weekly chart I had marked this prior. We marked this lower, the 50 SMA and the white box of this candle. We continued higher. We eventually broke above the 38,128. We continued higher from this area and pushing higher. As long as we are above, let's call it uh, 38,125, we stay bullish. If we come under it, we're going to be bearish, and we marked it with an oval, we cleared it. Do we consider this three tops, a continuation higher, or are we going to come back halfway, then continue up? Let's go over each individual instrument, starting with the E-mini. That's the Fortune 500 uh, small uh, index. We got the weekly chart. Let's just go to the end of it. We hit the oval. We cleared the 28.78. We cleared the 20, almost the 2900, which this candle brought us down. Took us all the way down. We consolidated, went lower, and came back up. I had this oval. There's a decline in the volume. I had marked it this week while we were in the trading room. I put this in there for everybody to show that the volume was declining over the week on the continuation of going higher. Let's go to the daily chart. If we can see on the daily <coughs> chart, we cleared these three tops from the 2820 area. We pushed higher and we continued the last five days above the 2866-60 area. We have a small gap in this area, which I'm going to zoom in to show everybody. This is very critical. Between the 28.44 and the 28.40, there's a small gap. I have around the 33, a VPOC. Around the 2800, there's a VPOC, and we continued grinding higher. We had one day consolidate inside day after the push. We went up, we had a small consolidation day. Then on Friday, I didn't get to see the close of the market. I left early that day office. I had uh, some errands to run, couldn't finish it. But we continued higher, and we pushed to my oval that I marked on both sides. We actually reached the 2900 almost. We missed it by a little bit. Is this continuation? We have resistance up in this channel up here. Do we push higher next week or do we come back? My extended fib on the prior high is 2947. That was the prior high, 100% retracement to the top. Do we look above this channel, come back in? We come back to the back side of this channel, come back down to this area, come back here, or do we still continue higher? This is one thing we have to pay attention to this market in order to be aware of. Um, let's take a look at uh, NASDAQ. Let's see how it looks like next to the S&P. You see, we just finished, got to this area. Do we continue or do we reject? That's the NQ. The NASDAQ 100, we had this oval here. We actually got to it. That's the candle that brought us down. We, we continued higher, but the, if you look at the NASDAQ channel, it's a little bit more stronger than the S&P. This was the gap in the NASDAQ. 
and we continued higher we cleared the 25 40 five area 40 area and we pushed up we consolidated and we pushed higher these two tops are basically almost identical if you look on daily on 43 we had 20 76 16 quarter and on friday we had 70 6, 12, 75. They're almost identical. Do we continue to finish the channel on the upside or do we get two thirds of this move up in this area in this channel and we reject? Okay, this is something to look at on the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at it on the weekly, everybody, so we can see where it's up to. The weekly, it's really, really nicely did a great job after the Nasdaq being the lagger, it became the strongest and pushed higher. And we got to those ovals in this candle that took us down. Do we continue to get the prior high or do we get rejection? Keep an eye on the market overall trend because we have a lot of VPOCs stacked below us that have not been revisited on very poor structure. I want everybody to be aware of it. We have some here, and we have some here that we never visited. We could kept continuing higher. Let's see if that continuation, we get to the top or we get rejection. Let's take a look at the small cap, RTY. The small cap looks like, you know, this high to the bottom. We finally got to this area. If you notice, this was the prior breakout. You see it, the breakdown? We came down, we had a lower high, higher high, lower high, and continued down. But we came back to this area, and if we look to this area, we eventually, on the daily chart, we finally broke out to the top. I had the oval on the 200 SMA. We pushed a little higher. Look where we stopped in this consolidation. If the NASDAQ... If the Russell, the NASDAQ, and the S&P of small cap doesn't have any more fear, since it was the lagger, do we continue and push to the prior high, you know, the 1600, 1620, 1630? Or do we come back and pull to the backside of this channel to get us back the support to continue higher? Let's see what the market does. The Russell looks it's becoming stronger. It may take everybody with it. The NASDAQ is the strongest. Let's see if we can continue. Let's take a look at the weekly on it, see how it looks like. The weekly, this is the breakout. You see, you cleared the four. This is my upper channel on it. Do we get there? Do we get to this one here? Possibility, okay? Let's see if we can do that this coming week. Let's go back to the daily. Uh, let's just do the uh, the Dow 30, which everybody is always looking at. I like using the Russell and the Nasdaq and the S&P. Um, the Dow looks like it's continuation up. Um, let's take a look at it on a smaller uh, view on a daily chart. So it can we can see that we got to the oval. We got a hanging man on it. We got a green box ADX DMI crossing coming out of the squeeze on the daily to the upside. Do we consider this a double shoulder like here? Continue higher to get to the top possibility, or do we reject this area that we broke down from? Because if you look at this candle here on the daily, that was 26,522. What was this one? 26,509. So about 10 to 12 point difference from the prior high, and we get a hanging man. If this is going to continue, that would be great. We can see this up channel and a new high, or if not, we come back in. As long as we are above the 26, 200 area, we are okay in the down. If we're under it, be careful of it. <clears throat> Let's take a look at uh, some equities, AAPL. Apple created that roundness here it hasn't cleared this prior 61a do we continue from the 61a to this area we're going to put an oval on it and just leave it there if not we look to the back side of the 18 sma in this consolidation around the uh, 190 if not we'll come up to this area the 206 that these candles you see you have here a small little gap here you see it, everybody 
we have this one here too. I'm going to mark the middle range of this area, which is this up channel here, okay? I'm going to put a little marker on it, and we'll leave it there for this coming week, and I'll make it longer so that way it stays in the, in the, in our visual. Um, let's take a look at the Amazon. Remember, the tech sector is a little bit more stronger than, uh, uh, than a lot of the other entries. And if you look at the... Uh, Amazon, it actually cleared. Remember, I left this oval here. We eventually cleared it. We looked above it. Do we clear this area here? This area that candle took us down to get to the 2890, 2900. This would be a nice rounded number. We'll just leave it here. Put a marker on it. See if we can get there. If not, I mean, look for the backside of the 18 SMA. And as long as we're above the 1800 on Amazon, should be strong. If we're under it, be careful of it. Let's take a look at uh, Baba. Baba looks like, uh, remember, this was the area that took us down. I mean, we if you look at this prior lower, one, two, three, came down. We came back, looked in this area. We finally pushed above, came back in, pushing, trying to push up. I still have this oval here. We're going to move it out and put a new one. Remove drawing. And we're going to, if we push above this area, I think we'll get back to this consolidation area. If not, look underneath, you know, the 11, eight, if we're below the 180, 179 be careful of it we can come back to the 50 sma and come back to the 170 the midpoint of it if not i'd like to see it up in this area around the 193 one, uh, 194 okay let's take a look at bidu we'll make it quick bidu seems to be rounding off this is a doji undecided if we can get out of this consolidation area, Bidu can go, but I'm not going to concentrate on it. Let's take a look at Facebook. Oops. FB. Facebook had two little, you know, U-shape, which or I call these a W pattern. We were not able to clear that gap in here. It looked up. It finally finished this area. You see that little oval that we put here? We marked it, we cleared it, we got a remove drawing. If this is going to continue, we got to have, we have to see we reached this area before. So do we get back to this area back here? I'm going to put 182 to 185. If uh, Amazon cannot, I mean, if Facebook cannot get to this area, keep an eye on the back side of the 168, 170. If, if 174, 50 lost, 174, 40 lost, I mean, be careful of it because it cannot continue higher 174.40 be careful of that area if it comes back in look for the back side of the 18 sma and the 50. if it's going to continue look for the 182 184 area um, let's take a look at google google L. google seems to have done a cut head this is the cup or the shoulder this is the shoulder if google can clear 1225 area look for this upside of this oval we're going to move this oval over so remove drawing we're going to put this oval up in this area to the upside of the upper channel okay so i'm going to make it from this area to this area if google cannot see that oval here we'll just move it we'll put it on the other side remove drawing and we'll put it on this side of the area if it's going to come back in the market let's take a look at uh, netflix and flx netflix seems to be going sideways for a very long time if netflix loses the 50 in this channel look for the downside of this area we'll move this oval put it over there remove drawing we're going to put it right here if Netflix is going to continue and clear that uh, that 370, continue higher, we'll see the 390, 392 area. Let's put a marker here. 
so everybody's aware of it. So we are in a mid range going sideways. I don't like this W pattern because it's been zigzagging here. Unless something good comes out and we can clear those tops one, two, three, four, five tops, look higher. Okay, if we clear them, that looks wonderful. Um, let's take a look at Tesla. Tesla has came back up. Uh, on the earning report came back down. Remember this oval that we did, remove drawing. I was thinking, you know, it'll come down to this area, bust it to the 250 area, 240, 252, come further down to the 247. But unfortunately on the earning report, gap down, came back up. It still has resistance, you know, you're halfway up. Because remember this consolidation area is a 78.2, or you can inverse it to the 23%. If we cannot clear it, look back down let's see what Tesla. you know tesla has a lot of problems be careful of it um let's take a look at uh win resort and probably exxon and go back to gold and just finalize it um wayne did a great job i marked it last week and look at this high strength in it and pushed as strong as it can and continued this is the backside of the retest if it's going to come back down this is no longer valid. Remove this uh, oval. We're gonna, if it's gonna continue, it has to get to this oval here and this oval here. What I'm gonna do is mark the area of both, so we can highlight this area of those two regions. If not, look for the backside of the 200 SMA of this last breakout, those two candles to come back up. And I'm gonna move this over. Remove, remove drawing. We'll move it to this area. Okay, people. So the backside of the 334 area, 334, 333, 75 would be a great area for another rebound and continue higher. Let's take a look at the Exxon, XOM. Exxon is very nice. Continuation up. This is an area where I would shave some off. I know everybody's looking at me like, are you crazy? Oil's going higher. This is the oval. I moved it a little higher in this channel. Be careful of losing the 180, the $81 range. If we lose the $81 range back to the 80, 70 area, we can come back to the 200 SMA. I'm going to mark this area here. Eventually, we'll come back to retest this area. I mean, Exxon did a very good job going sideways here for a while, and I had an 80, 82 area mark as a as my uh, target if you notice this is one two let's call it three that's four it's pushing higher if you can get to the 280 in the 84 dollar range i would shave more off i don't think it's going to go up here all one shot it should reset back into this area of this side mid-range channel the 18 and the 20 and maybe come back two-thirds of the move to continue higher let's take a look at uh, gold and go to the oil GC. Okay, GC is one of those things that I don't like it in the 1300, 1292 area, 1300 for two reasons because it's in the middle of this channel. Unless fear something comes out globally, then we can see a change in gold. It'll pick up, go back to this oval. As long as it's in this range, you know, that. 61 to 1290 area 1300 i don't see any strength to go up to this channel if it doesn't it can come back two-thirds of this channel which is this area here this oval is a little bit too far i'm going to mark it to this area okay everybody we'll just move it remove drawing let's just move it to this area and this one will move it over to remove drawing so everybody sees what I'm looking for. This would be the halfway back of this down move, and this one would be the continuation, and this one would be the upside remove drawing. This fear would be the backside of the 50% fit. There we go. Let's take a look at uh, oil, CL. CL, okay, here we go. Let's just go from this area to this area. Oil seems to have found the 61.8, that 63, 62, 64 area. It, in order for it to continue, it has to clear this low section, which is the 65 
to the 68. We're going to mark it here if it's going to get up there, okay, everybody? I think oil needs to get a little bit of a breather before continuation. And we're going to move this over, remove Dory. Because if it's not going to consolidate in this area, come back to this back side of this channel, I'd like to see it come back in this area first before continuation. It has moved to, and this oval won't be any more valid. So what are we going to do? Remove it, put it a little higher at the 50 SMA. We're going to mark it in this area here. So you guys see what I'm doing. I'm just marking these three. I would like to see oil come back in this area, then continue higher. Let's take a look at uh, the ES one more time. The Fortune 500 company, remember, we are already trying to push higher. That breakout on Wednesday took us higher. We consolidated Thursday. Then Friday, we pushed up. We got to this oval. Let's just move this oval over. Remove drawing. And we're going to put it right in this junction, okay? And this one, I'm going to move this oval and put it on the 50 SMA drawing remember all this move up we moved on low volume if this is going to continuation do we hit our head against this upper channel look above it and fail or do we continue to get to the prior high the 2900 to 2930 is a very big area to get to if we can come back and reset around the two uh, the 2840 53, that's a big gap. If the market breadth AD and everything looks very negative, this is possible to fill that gap. We have a couple of VPOCs underneath us. We only have two more on the upper, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So keep an eye on the coming week. Enjoy the rest of Sunday. Look forward to seeing you in our Solstice ATR uh, chat room. If you like us, check us out as well put a like on it thank you very much and look forward to seeing you in the coming week take care everyone